Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And I've got the Huawei Mate 10 Pro here along with the Google Pixel 2 XL. Now I wanna put them head to head, show off both devices and compare the two. Shout out to Huawei, they're actually the sponsor of this video so they must be pretty confident to actually put it up against Google's flagship and of course all opinions are my own. I will also be doing a full review on each device separately so be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified of both of those. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the Huawei Mate 10 Pro versus the Google Pixel 2 XL. Let's begin with design of the two and you'll see the Huawei Mate 10 Pro on the left and the Google Pixel 2 XL on the right. Now if I go ahead and line up the bottom, you'll see the Pixel 2 XL is slightly taller and then in regards to bezels, the Mate 10 Pro's bezels are smaller as well. However, on the front of the Pixel 2 XL, you do have front facing speakers. Now those are stereo speakers and you have stereo speakers on the Mate 10 Pro with that bottom firing speaker coupled with that earpiece speaker on the top of the phone. Now I will say uh, I do prefer the Pixel 2 XL speakers overall, especially when you have the volume all the way up. It's just a little more fuller of a noise. Now both do have six inch displays. You'll see the Pixel 2 XL has rounded corners on the edge of those displays. Now the Mate 10 Pro is an AMOLED display and the Pixel 2 XL is a POLED display. They do have a different pixel density. The Pixel 2 XL is a 1440p display, whereas the Mate 10 Pro is only a 1080p display. So uh, they did decide to bump down the display resolution, which will help with battery life. However, it's just a little bit different. However, with the different display technologies, I do prefer this AMOLED panel over the POLED panel. Obviously, uh, they had a bit of issues with the screen. You'll see that blue tint when you actually angle uh, any white screen. So if I go ahead and maybe open up the Play Store, which is white, you'll see very less blue tint when you look at the display from an angle. You also notice on the Mate 10 Pro, you can turn on a dark mode, which is really great for AMOLED displays, just less eye strain, which you unfortunately cannot do on the Pixel 2 XL. Now I am in display settings, and on the Pixel 2 XL, you do have a night light, adaptive brightness. If I go to advanced, they actually added an option for colors, so you can change it to natural or boosted from saturated if you like to. And then if I jump over to the Mate 10 Pro, you do have eye comfort mode, and then you do have a color mode, so you can change it to vivid, normal, so those two options you do have. Now up at the top here, you also have color temperature where you can really change the temperature. You'll see I bumped mine to be a little bit cooler. However, they do have presets of warm, cold, and default, just so you can really customize your color temperature. Now with that being said, overall with the displays, I'm gonna give it a tie just because of the issues the Pixel 2 XL have. Uh, and I just prefer the AMOLED panel. However, it is a bit of a bummer they didn't go with a 1440p display, which is kind of why they tie. Taking a look at the bottom of the two, you'll see the Pixel 2 XL screen raises up just a little bit around that casing. And then down at the bottom, of course, you have your chart, USB Type-C charging slot on both. The power and volume rockers are flip-flopped. And then moving along up at the top, you do have an IR blaster on the Mate 10 Pro, which is a personal preference of mine. I'm really happy they included this. You can control your TV's volume, channel, and uh, power as well. So nice that they do have that. And then on the side here, you do have a SIM card slot, and you do have a dual SIM card slot in the Mate 10 Pro. Here's a side-by-side -side look at the back of both phones. Both have rear fingerprint scanners, however, the Mate 10 Pro has a dual Leica camera system, whereas Google just went with the single camera. I'll talk about that in depth in just a bit, and you'll see branding Google and Huawei. I will say in terms of button placement, I do prefer the Mate 10 Pros just because I kind of have to adjust my thumb to reach that power button on the one, and then you'll see my thumb actually rests on the power button on the Mate 10 Pro. But now I wanna go ahead and test out the fingerprint scanner on both of them at the same time. So I'm gonna set my finger on it, one, two, three, See, looked like the Mate 10 Pro just a little bit, but let's go ahead and do it again. One, two, three. Again, just a little bit faster. However, both of them are extremely quick. Same time again. See Mate 10 Pro a little bit quicker. One more, let's go ahead and flip flop because I do have the regist fingerprint registered. One, two, three, same time. And again, just slightly faster Mate 10 Pro. However, both of them are very quick. When it comes to battery life on these two, they both have embedded batteries. The Mate 10 Pro is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Pixel 2 XL has a 3,520 milliamp hour battery, and that actually makes a difference. I was very impressed with the Pixel 2 XL's battery life. However, after using the Mate 10 Pro right after it, uh, it definitely blew it out of the water. This, uh, I actually reached over six hours screen on time with my Mate 10 Pro, 
and the Mate 10 Pro has the best battery life out of any phone I've used at the moment. Both of them are IP67 rated and neither of them have a headphone jack, so they're tied in that aspect. In terms of specs, the Pixel 2 XL has a Snapdragon 835 processor coupled with four gigs of RAM, whereas the Huawei Mate 10 Pro uses the uh, in-house Kyren 970, which is a new processor from Huawei, and six gigs of RAM. So that extra RAM uh, isn't necessarily noticeable at the moment, but in the future, it can kind of future-proof your phone to handle more once software updates do come. And I will say, when multitasking on both of them, it's very fluid, very quick. You'll see I'm jumping through apps very fast, and they both handle it very well. Now, they both run Android 8.0 Oreo, so you do get all of those benefits from the latest operating system from Google. I'll link to a video down below if you want to check out Android Oreo. So if I jump into settings, go to system on both, you'll see updated to Android 8.0. If I go to about phone, here we go, uh, Android 8.0, but you'll also notice a little bit of a difference with the Mate 10 Pro. It says EMUI version 8.0. So it does have an updated EMUI, which uh, is a skin over Android. So with the Pixel 2 XL, you pretty much have no skin over Android because it is straight from Google, you get uh, updates quicker. You will get updates quicker than you get with the Mate 10 Pro, but I am very happy they did ship the Mate 10 Pro with Oreo because not a lot of manufacturers are actually doing that yet. Let's go ahead and talk about the difference in the OS. So first of all, the lock screen, uh, they do have an option to change the wallpaper on the Mate 10 Pro every time. And you'll see you do have a quick shortcut to voice uh, searching and then a camera, whereas on the Mate 10 Pro, you just have a quick shortcut to your, uh, to just the camera. You'll see on the Pixel 2 XL, it is showing a notification right here. And that's actually not showing any notifications on the Mate 10 Pro. However, there are some, and that's just a behavioral difference that they do have. If you actually uh, just have your screen locked and you get a notification, it'll show up on the lock screen. But as soon as you sign into your phone and then go back to that lock screen, they don't show up, which I don't like. It's actually an iOS behavior. So I'm not sure that's just an EMI behavior. You might like it. I don't. I like being able to go back to my lock screen and always seeing those notifications. You can swipe down on the fingerprint scanner on both to actually reach your notifications. And I will say there's just an aesthetic difference. As you could tell overall, just throughout the video, you can notice that there is a difference between uh, the two operating systems color wise. And I do have that dark mode enabled on the Mate 10 Pro, so keep that in mind. You can actually go back to that light mode. The EMUI skin from Huawei also brings some added gestures. So if I go to Smart Assistance, You'll see you can change the system navigation buttons down at the bottom. You can turn on a navigation dock as well. You do have one-handed UI, which is what I should be using right now. You have motion control, voice control, uh, touch disable mode. So if I go into motion control, uh, here's just a bunch of options and they do have knuckle gestures. So if I wanna go ahead and try one out, you'll see, use your knuckles to take a normal sc screenshot or scrolling. So if you have that on, you see, you could go ahead and draw a circle and it will snap just a quick screenshot of that area. Or I believe if you double tap with your knuckle, it'll just go ahead and take that full screenshot. So those are actually very convenient and do seem to work how they're supposed to pretty much all the time. There's also a split screen gesture with your knuckle. If you go ahead and draw a line across the middle like I just did, it will go ahead and load up other options. So if I load up the camera, that app actually doesn't support split, split screen, so that will not work. But if I jump back into the settings, do that again, just across the middle, it'll load up options so I can load up Wi-Fi, or if I wanna go ahead and go back into the calculator, I can have two apps open at once, which you can do on the Pixel 2 XL, you just press and hold that recent app button. So that's just another way to activate it with just a gesture control in your knuckle. And then of course, with both running Android 8.0 Oreo, they both do have uh, picture picture mode. So when you are watching a video uh, and you exit out of it, go to your home screen or on Google Maps, it'll load it up in a little screen. Moving along, let's talk about those rear cameras on both. And with the Pixel 2 XL, you have a 12 megapixel rear camera. And you also have a 12 megapixel camera on the Mate 10 Pro. However, it also has a 20 megapixel monochrome lens. So it takes a lot of black and white shots. I'll give some examples in a little bit. All right, so right away, here's the two camera apps. If you just press the button, it takes a picture, of course. On the Pixel 2 XL, you swipe over, you have a bunch of different modes, slow motion, panorama. Same on the uh, Mate 10 Pro, a ton of different ones. I will say, I like how you can have auto HDR mode on the Pixel 2 XL, whereas you have to switch it to HDR manually if you'd like to. Uh, and then of course it does have that dedicated, dedicated monochrome mode, which takes some really cool black and white shots if you are someone that likes to do that. 
Unfortunately, the Pixel 2 XL doesn't have a pro mode for the camera, whereas on the Mate 10 Pro, you could swipe up and it switches to that pro mode where you can manually control tons of things, ISO, autofocus, white balance, all that good stuff. The Huawei Mate 10 Pro also has that dedicated AI chip, which is integrated into the camera app. So for example, if I go ahead and throw some text into the camera app, you'll see that T pop up. And basically what that, that uh, does is it optimizes the camera for the specific scenario. So you'll see text. Uh, it also does it for food. It has it for landscapes. Uh, there's, I believe, 13 different animals, 13 different options at the moment. And it will automatically just set the camera into a mode better suited for the specific scenario. Now I want to take a look at a couple images from both devices. Now the first one will be the Pixel 2 XL, second one Mate 10 Pro. And what I found is that the Pixel 2 XL's post image processing, so the software with the HDR mode incorporated, does a really good job at balancing that light. You'll see with the Mate 10 Pro here, that white bird just a little bit washed out from that bright color. Now here is a far away shot, Pixel 2 XL, really good job. Lots of coloring, uh, lots of bright sunlight going on. And then here is the shot from the Mate 10 Pro. Kind of a personal preference here. I like both these shots. Um, and I did recognize with that AI that it was a landscape. I threw in a monochrome shot because it's just really cool. And of course, uh, the Pixel 2 XL doesn't even have a black and white setting. So it's obviously, if you take a lot of black and white pictures, Mate 10 Pro is the way to go. Here's a very low light scenario of just a couple of random things in the kitchen. This is with the Pixel 2 XL. And then switching over to the Mate 10 Pro. I actually kind of prefer the Mate 10 Pro's lower light shots. Uh, I think more of the time, I, I do prefer Pixel 2 XL sometimes, but I think overall lower light, I'm gonna hand to the Mate 10 Pro. Here's just another random shot outside with a lot of bright light because that's kind of where I find the difference between the two. And then there's the Mate 10 Pro. So overall, uh, just a little bit different texture wise, the coloring's just a little bit different. Realistically, they're both very good cameras, but I'm going to go ahead and give a slight edge to the Pixel 2 XL just because of that HDR mode and that post image processing. Now in terms of performance on both, I really have to say it's kind of a tie, both running Android 8.0, Oreo, any multitasking I do or heavy gaming, anything like that, uh, it handles it very well. So if I jump home on both of them, you'll see it'll jump home. And like I said, just multitasking is very quick on both, as I mentioned earlier with uh, both four gigs and six gigs of RAM and RAM management has been good on both, so I've never had an issue where you'll see even the settings app in the Mate 10 Pro goes back to where I was before because it does a good job at holding all of those apps in my recent apps and even that number in the calculator app, and we're good to go. I mean, just speed is incredible on both, and with Huawei, I know they said that uh, they, was it stay fast is their slogan because over time they wanna make sure that uh, the AI chip learns your apps that you use all the time and has those ready to go, whereas maybe takes, uh, puts the apps that you don't use right away on the back burner. And then of course on the Pixel 2 XL, you have stock Android. So it is just very fluid and quick uh, as expected running vanilla Android. Now for me personally, I'm going to give a slight edge to the Pixel 2 XL, just because I'm more of a stock Android guy, they do need to clean up EMUI just a little bit for my personal taste. However, it might be different for you. Now, of course, battery life on the Mate 10 Pro is fantastic, which is really enticing me towards it. Um, it's just overall, I would have to say, go with the Pixel 2 XL just simply because of that software skin. So overall, that's about it with the Pixel 2 XL versus the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. So lots of differences between the two devices. And I think a lot of what it comes down to is if you are interested in the EMUI skin over the Pixel 2 XL just running stock Android, you do get some added benefits. However, like I said, it's just kind of a personal preference. I prefer the lock screen in the Pixel 2 XL versus that on the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. And just overall style-wise, they obviously look different. So anyways, that's about it. Go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, curious to hear which device you would personally prefer. They're very competitive. Uh, so excited to hear what your guys' opinions are. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.